Welcome back to Houston Newsmakers. We've been speaking with State Senator John Whitmire, now an announced candidate for the city of Houston mayor. Now, you, you're still state senator. You had a session starting. I will How's go to Austin gonna... in January. Okay, how is that going to work? With it's the... going to work real well because I deal with so many Houston issues in Austin. We're going to get after the catalytic converter thieves. We're going to put a minimum of 10% uh, uh, on bond releases. So. A lot of issues that Houstonians are talking to me about will attempt and we will address them this spring. I have a senior staff, in fact the best staff in the capital, which will be the experience at City Hall as well. So if you know what you're doing and you're committed, uh, it'll, it'll manage itself real well. It's just a five month session. Uh, we normally work uh, Tuesday to Thursday. Uh, people travel from all over the state. Right. So uh, the time has been planned very effectively. So a lot of the issues at, at, in the uh, Capitol, uh, you know, there's a split, and Democrats clearly once again are in disadvantage as far as legislative issues sure. are, are concerned. A couple of topics I want to talk about. Uh, gun control. Sure. Uh, any type of anything changing in that regard. I mean, we've seen so much happen negatively in this country and in this state. But our uh, gun laws, some would argue, uh, still offer people chances to get a hold of guns that they probably shouldn't. Absolutely. I've sponsored the red flag legislation, which allows uh, medical doctors in an emergency room, if someone's threatening folks or if law enforcement runs into someone, or social media so that someone is having emotional problems, going to court, having due process, you could go to their house and hold their firearms for up to 90 days. That is working effectively in other states. The assault rifle problem, we all know how terrible that is. I do not know why reasonable, rational people would not raise that age to 21, have background checks, but elections matter. Mm -hmm. And the current administration in Austin is not favorable toward taking those reasonable steps. I will be outspoken, I'm a Democrat, but I do understand you work across the aisle. I get things done and I can count. And with the huge majority of Republicans in the House and the Democrat and the current governor, if you don't sit down at the table, exchange ideas, respect the other one's views, you're not gonna get things done. This, and the mayor's race is not a partisan election, right. quite, quite frankly. Some of the candidates you would think are running in a Democratic primary. I'm running to represent all Houstonians. As I've said earlier, Trash pickup is not a Republican or Democratic issue. And I noticed that. Your uh, finance chair is the guy who's got a little money in his own. He's got a little jingle. Tillman Fertitta, billionaire. But he also supported Governor Abbott, Lieutenant Governor Patrick, and uh, the Attorney General, and you. So sure. that's like, you people, whoa, what is that all about? It shows Tillman is concerned about the city of Houston. He's done great things at U of H. He has probably more invested in Houston than any other individual. And he understands what a great city we have. But if we don't fix today's problems, particularly public safety and infrastructure. So Tillman and I have had very strong uh, discussions. He understands he and I disagree on some things. I, his choice of candidates and other uh, levels of government are not my choices. But we agree that we need to improve Houston. State uh, of Texas has uh, continued to keep his eye on the Houston Independent School District. Uh, that affects a lot of students in our community. What's your take on what's going on on that level? I'm very concerned about HISD, have been concerned, and I think we need to give the superintendent an opportunity to show what he can do. I think as mayor, you cannot control the schools, but you can certainly speak out and emphasize it, make it a priority for all Houstonians. Because I visit with people that move to Houston, where do you think they locate? They come to work in Houston, but they buy a residency in Pearland because of schools. You in Sugarland, Katy, we, we want people to live and, and work in Houston. And we need good schools to do that. And I will lend my support to the superintendent and those that want to fix HISD. Well, when you first walked in the door here, I told you we could probably take about three hours. But I we could. don't. We don't. But we're going to continue our conversation on Houston Newsmakers Extra, uh, continue to talk about some things. Because I heard you say something about police chief in there, and I want to talk to you about that as well. But uh, as we move to that. Let me emphasize that we have a police chief. I think Troy Finner, given the opportunity, is a great public servant and can uh, attack crime in ways that, that it hasn't been allowed to. We've got to tell the bad guys, you need to relocate because you're here and we need to work with the county and the, certainly the backlog. Police are doing a good job. They're understaffed. 
We need to do more aggressive recruiting. We need to do lateral hiring. The city, for some reason, will not go to Austin or Seattle and encourage their police officers to relocate. They want to, and we ought to do everything we can to get more officers on the street. And we'll have to leave it there, Senator. Uh, we'll continue on Newsmakers Extra, which you'll be able to see online on our Newsmakers page on clicktoyouson.com.